Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reset your BIOS settings without actually opening up your computer. So while well, you can always remove the CMOS battery, as I'm sure you guys have seen tutorials of that nature, if you want to do it without actually having to open up your computer and just use software that's already installed on your BIOS, I'm going to show you guys how to do that method as well. So we want to boot to the boot menu and depending on your computer manufacturer it may be a different key so as your computer is booting up before it gets to the windows screen you may have to tap anything between the escape key F2, F4, F8, F12 those are the primary keys I've seen you can google whatever your specific computer manufacturer is if you have your model number if it's like a specific type of Dell or HP or, or Acer or something like that you want to just look it up and just type in onto Google how to boot into BIOS and then just type in whatever your manufacturer name is and it should tell you which key to tap so you just keep tapping that key so you can see that's where we're at in this video right now we're on the boot screen again like I said it'll be different for everybody but generally speaking once you're on the boot menu here we're going to use our arrow keys on our keyboard to navigate down to the enter setup option so you're going to hit enter once you have that highlighted and you're going to use the arrow keys once more to navigate and we're going to scroll over to the right so you're going to have to just keep scrolling over and you may have to see an option to set up defaults or something like that on the top but you can see down in our system key down at the way bottom that F9 loads the setup defaults and that's what we're going to select for this tutorial so we're just going to tap the F9 key it's going to say load default configuration now the yes option is selected so we're going to hit enter over that to select that and now you're going to just tap F10 or whatever it says in your system key. You can see what it says on my screen here. So it should serve as a pretty clear guide for you guys. So like I said, F10. I'm going to accept that. So save configuration changes and exit now. I'm going to tap enter to save the changes. It will reboot and we should relaunch into Windows and the BIOS should have been reset at this point. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.